Welcome to today's language tutorial where we'll bring chemical formulas together and learn to speak chemical equation. So far, we've learned how to represent substances with chemical formulas. Now we'll use those chemical formulas to communicate what happens in a... chemical reaction. When atoms are rearranged in a chemical reaction, they make new substances with different properties. These substances also have different chemical formulas. This is what makes chemical changes chemical. Written in this way, we call it a chemical equation. The formula of the substances before the reaction are written on the left, and the formulas of the substances present after the reaction are written on the right. What do you think the names for each side of the equation are called? Here's a fun reaction you might have made happen in the kitchen or maybe in a volcano model. What substances does it start with and what substances does it end with? The arrow written in the equation is what we use to make this clear. On the left side of an equation are the reactants. This name makes sense because they are the substances that react together. In our example, this was our baking soda and vinegar. And the new substances they formed are written on the right side of the equation. They are called the products. This makes sense because they are the substances made or produced in the reaction. In our example reaction, sodium acetate, water, and bubbles of carbon dioxide form. They are the products. Let's check our understanding of chemical equations so far. What do we call substances on the left side of the equation? Yep, reactants. And what do we call substances on the right side of the equation? Products. Here's another exciting chemical reaction. Here we have methane reacting with oxygen. And what products does this burning reaction form? Is that carbon dioxide and... Wait, wait a second, is that water? Yup, water molecules are formed in burning reactions. Here's another burning reaction. This one happens in the mitochondria of your own cells. Your cells burn sugar using oxygen. And what do they produce? Carbon dioxide and water. It's a pretty cool coincidence that all these reactions we've seen so far produce water. Before now, it's been difficult to define chemical changes, but now that you speak chemical formula and chemical equation, the difference is so much easier to understand. A chemical change only occurs when chemical formulas of substances are changed. Often, people think that boiling water is a chemical change, but is it? Now that you can speak chemical formula, you can clearly understand why. Liquid water has a chemical formula H2O. When it boils and becomes water vapor, its chemical formula is still H2O. No change in chemical formula? Then it's not a chemical change. This is why. Phase change is just a physical change. All right, time to test your understanding of chemical equations. Name the reactants in this chemical equation. Remember, these are found on the left side of the equation. If you said P4 and 5O2, you got it. Bem feito. Name the reactants in this chemical equation. If you said N2 and 3H2, you're right. Again, the reactants are on the left side of the equation. How many molecules of salt, NaCl, are produced in this chemical equation?
we look at the product side of the reaction and we see a coefficient of 2 in front of NaCl. If you said 2 molecules of salt, you're correct. Na potsai. Alright, last question. How many molecules of oxygen gas are produced in this reaction that also makes pure aluminum? Again, we look at the product side of the equation. Because there's a coefficient of 3 in front of the O2, we know that 3 molecules of oxygen are produced. Guzel. Ooh la la! Here's a fun reaction you can make with hydrogen peroxide. Just add a little food coloring, soap, and a catalyst to speed up the reaction. Oh. Now that you can speak chemical equation, here's a question for you to try on your own. Looking at the chemical equation, what gas is inside the soap bubbles produced in this reaction? It's been a joy learning languages with you. This is Mrs. Shanaz signing off. Adiós.